job key manager sitting in the back, hanging out, don't know if I get to see him, don't know if I'm doing good. They're understanding, okay, if I don't know enough about this brand or I'm not sure how to present a shoe if they didn't ask for it, we're there to help them and give them feedback. So they're learning a lot in the process too. And I've had a lot of people, whether they decide to stay with Buckle or not, talk about how much they learn just in the process um, from working there. So you definitely want to treat your employees well too. Yeah, what's better, a great guest or a great teammate? I ask my teammates this too, or people that I'm training to be managers of their own business. If they had to choose, what would be better? A really great guest that you know is gonna shop all the time, or a really great teammate? Any guesses? I'd say guest. You'd say guest? Yes. That's what I thought at first too when they asked me this question. But if you think about it in a little bit, a great teammate can create how many great guests? 10, 50, 100? Because they're good and people want to shop with that person. We just sent a gal, a gal I don't know, she graduated not too long ago, Claire Burke, so some of you may know her. Uh, she just went to Greenville. But she probably had 100 people, I kid you not, 100 people come to the store in her last two weeks to say goodbye and tell her how much they're going to miss her. Because she, they would come in and they didn't know what they wanted. She would totally outfit them and they would go. And she great, created great guests because she was a great teammate and very good at her job. And now she's leading her own buckle. But I would say a great teammate can create thousands of great guests over the course of their career. Plus, our teammates wear our product, so they are great guests. So it's kind of one and the same. A great teammate is a great guest because they obviously support the product because they sell it, so they want to wear it. And two, they create great guests. So you want an atmosphere where your employees love to come to work and have fun. And it's the same things that she was talking about, but having fun is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you wake up on Monday morning and the first thing that goes through your mind is, I don't want to go to work today, you need a new job. I have days like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Want to come work for the Bible? Are there any questions? Yeah. See how this is always how it is. So uh, let's, yeah. okay, there you go. I guess, what do you say, like, you were talking about um, when people walk into the buckle, like, the first thing you do is green, what do you say to people that think that um, people that work the buckle are overwhelming? For instance, the buckle. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. So two responses. One, that's part of our role is to teach our team how to recognize what people's preferences are. Because some people will want, literally want their hand held. I'm here shopping for my grandson, and I want you to show me everything that makes sense for an 18-year-old because he's going to be 18 on Saturday. And there are some people that just want to look around and do their own thing, right? But most people that come into the buckle or go shopping are doing what? They're shopping, right? I mean, how often do you go to the grocery store if you don't want to buy food? I don't. I don't go to the gas station if I'm not going to buy gas or get a pop or a candy bar or something. And so most people, even though they're just looking, I'm just looking, you can still show them something, but you just got to you got to gauge how much help you're going to give them. So that's one. So you got to train people on how to recognize that. And two is, uh, we have another sister that works for the Buckle, too. And so we like the Buckle in our family. It, it is a great company, and it treats people well. And it's actually cool if you look at the company and you look at some of our top executives. The president, his two daughters, work for the Buckle. The executive vice president's son is on the men's buying team. The head men's buying team gentleman, his son manages a store in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So obviously their kids have bought into this idea and their kids have bought in. And I mean, it's a really cool thing to see that in a company. It means it's a good company for work-life balance too because, right, if, you're, if your dad or your mom worked for Buckle and, and they hated their job, you're not going to go work for them. But if they love their job, you'll consider it too. Um, but our other sister that works for the Buckle works at HR and she used to sit next to the gal that took all complaints. The number one complaint, what was the number one complaint at the buckle? I didn't get enough help. Nobody helped me. I went in there, I wanted to buy jeans, and nobody helped me, nobody talked to me, and nobody gave me what I wanted. 
That's the number one complaint. And so <laughs> it's amazing to think that, you know, because everybody thinks, oh, we're, we're really overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming or proactive in our sales approach, but we still get the complaint that they're not getting help. So two ways to answer it. One, people still want help, and two, you just got to evaluate each guest individually and try to help them the best that you can. Yep. You might mention to them, you were talking about how solid the company is. Do you want to? Yeah. Because I don't think you said that this time. Um, just if they have zero long-term debt, and then if, or are you talking about like how yeah. long are? Yeah. Okay. And then we talked about, what did we talk about last class? Like the cash reserve. Oh, yeah. We probably have $100 million in cash reserve at the home office ready to be deployed. So that's pretty awesome to think about. Zero long-term debt, but we're sitting on a lot of cash. So when you think about expanding and growing a business or supporting the businesses that are already built, to have that kind of financial backing is a big, big deal. And as Nick mentioned, our CEO and president has been with the company for, he said 40, I'm pretty sure now it's 43. Oh, 40, so 43 okay. years. Um, our district managers average 25 years with the company. That's really unheard of in retail. I'm a lot of times. Anybody in here 25? Over. Couple. So everybody else. So everybody else in this room wasn't born when our the average of our district managers, which there's probably 30 of them, started with us. Mm. Yep. So a lot of longevity there. And a lot of what are like when the president or CEO he travels every week with our executive vice president. President when they come to stores. Because um, they, with being from Carney and Lincoln is really close, and they come to visit our stores, they are on the floor telling us, okay, here's some of the new product that just came out, getting our teammates to try stuff on. Hey, let's move this table over here. Let's turn this lighting down. Um, our president's saying, here, let's grab the Swiffer, and he's grabbing it. I mean, they're so hands on. Um, what can yeah. I get you? What kind of product do you need? Yeah. What are they asking for? He is like um, Mr. Product. I mean, you know, yeah. to go to him, you email him for product and think about how much he's got going on, you will be guaranteed to get it within your store um, within a week's time if it's something that obviously that they've already purchased. Um, and so I think that is great too, yeah. that they're very um, open to come with suggestions because they're working the floor with us as well. So that makes a difference.